Why, hello there, everyone. Sitting comfortably at home? Well, I have a very interesting and yet horrifying story to tell you. For this review, we are going to be reading Stephen King Goes to the Movies, a novel that consists of many short stories. Today, we'll be covering 1408, a story about a horrifying haunted hotel room. In our story, we have Mike Inslet, a paranormal investigator and author. In this story, Mike decides to investigate a haunted hotel room with the number 1408, but things don't go as planned. Dun, dun, dun. So for us to set up the plot for this review, we will read one of the most dramatic scenes from the story. The door slid open to reveal a perfectly ordinary hotel corridor. Here we are, Olin said. Your floor? Mike Enslin stepped out of the elevator on legs that seemed heavier than they should have. He turned his back to Olin. He noticed that his face was as pale as cream. On his high, lineless forehead, drops of precipitation stood out. There's a telephone in the room, of course, Olin said. You could try it, if you find yourself in trouble. But I doubt that it will work. Not if the room doesn't want it to. Mike thought of a light reply. Something about how that would save him a room service charge, at least. But all at once, his tongue seemed as heavy as his legs. It just lay there on the floor of his mouth. Mr. Olin brought one hand from out from his behind his back. Mike saw it trembling. Mr. Enslin, he said. Mike? Don't do this. For God's sake! I chose to read this section of the book because it shows a very dramatic and emotional foreshadow of what may happen later in the book. So while Mike was walking down the hallway to room 1408, he then stops and stares at the door. He gets a bad feeling in his gut as he walks closer to the door. He then opens it to see the most disturbing thing any man has seen. An alien and a walrus sword fighting with TV remotes. Wait, stop. Joe, are you telling your untrue stories again? Mm, no. Well, basically, that's not what happens. This is what happened. A mic fell for the light switch in room 1408. He then soon realized that the walls were made of rotten dead skin. No, that's not what happened. He said it felt like dead skin. But due to limited time, we better skip all the boring stuff and get to the exciting parts right now. Hey, Joe? When Mike was trying not to panic, to all the things he was seeing, he decides to call for help with the telephone that was in the room. When he picked it up, someone or something was already talking to him. This is Noah. This is Noah. This is Tom. Tom. Jim, what do you think about this story? Well, Joe, I'll give the book about an 8 out of 10. Out of all the really creepy and scary parts, I thought there was a few slow moments in 1408. Due to the fact that most of it was just him talking to his recorder. But anyways, I thought it was an enjoyable book and it left you hanging for a second. That was really nice. So Joe, who would you recommend this to? I would recommend this story to horror fans and mystery lovers. And that one guy in the back of the class. Yeah, you. We can see you drooling out of your literature book. Come on. But at the same time, I don't recommend this book to young children. Due to the fact it may give them nightmares. Uh, Joe, I don't think kids are going to listen to us because I think they're just going to go right on reading it just from what we said. Why? Give me an example! Well, do you know how many four and five-year-olds are playing Call of Duty? <laughs>